Hi Skincare Junkie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I want to talk to you about coconut oil. This is something that I get a million and one questions about on my channel. I pretty much have a love-hate relationship when it comes to coconut oil. I love it in my food, I hate it on my skin, I love it on my hair, I hate it on my skin, I love it on my heels, I hate it on my skin. The reason that I hate it is because of this. So around about five months ago, I got sucked into the hype of coconut oil. There are so many organic and natural beauty enthusiasts out there that rave about the benefits of coconut oil on your skin. Now I'm not saying that coconut oil is not great for your skin, it's just not great for your facial skin unless you suffer with something like eczema. The coconut oil industry has managed to create this magical image around it that basically everyone has fed into. Got a problem with split ends and dry hair? put some coconut oil on it. Looking for a way to do an oil pull from your mouth? Put coconut oil in there. Your boyfriend or girlfriend really starting to get on your nerves? Put some coconut oil on it. Seriously, stop with the coconut oil. It's not good for your skin. Put the coconut oil jar down, screw that lid back on and step away. When it comes to skincare, there are so many other ingredients out there that are really gonna benefit your skin. Now, the reason that I've got such a downer on coconut oil is one that I've tried it a couple of times and both times that I've tried it, I have had the worst cystic acne breakouts I've ever had in my life. You know, I'm no spring chicken and I thought that my acne years were well and truly behind me. Never, ever, ever again will I put coconut oil on my face. You might as well just slather goose fat on there. Now, a lot of people have this misconception that coconut oil is gonna hydrate your skin. It's not. So basically, coconut oil isn't a pure plant oil. And actually, it's more like a wax. So imagine slathering your skin in beeswax. Like, yes, it's gonna make your skin feel soft and smooth. Your skin's not gonna be able to breathe. Your pores are gonna get blogged up and it's not actually gonna provide any moisture to the skin. And this is where the problem lies. Because actually what it can do is cause extreme dryness, which is great if you suffer with extremely oily skin, but most people don't. And dry Dry skin is dull skin. So look at it this way, when you apply coconut oil to your face, you cover every inch of your face, it's highly comedogenic, which basically means your skin can't breathe, it is going to suffocate your face. But also what it's going to do is that barrier is going to trap oils, it's going to trap sweat, it's going to trap dirt and grime, your pores are going to get clogged, you are going to break out and your skin is going to look horrible. It also doesn't come with many topical benefits. It's nutrient profile when consumed internally, fantastic, put it on your skin useless. Your skin can't absorb any of those nutrients from coconut oil. Now, if you're like me and you do like to use oils on your skin, there are some really great ones out there. I absolutely love cold pressed sweet almond oil. The reason that I like this is that it's a carrier oil, which basically means that the molecular structure of this is small enough to actually be absorbed and penetrate into the skin. Now, when you mix this with certain essential oils, I like to use a little tiny touch of rosemary for circulation properties. It's going to be able to go into the skin and not clog anything up, which makes it great for removing makeup as well. Now, if you're not a fan of sweet almond oil, you could also use grapeseed oil, rosehip oil, boabab, and tamanu. All of these are fantastic oils for the skin because they're not going to suffocate it, you're not going to break out, and they're actually going to provide some gentle moisturization. Now, it's important to remember that oils aren't waters, and when it comes to providing your skin with hydration, you need to be able to pour water to the cells, which is why it's always a good idea to use a hyaluronic acid. Again, another misconception is that hyaluronic acid provides moisture to the skin. It doesn't. What it does is it draws moisture to the cells, but it's important that you use a multi-weight molecular structure hyaluronic acid because the last thing that you want is a hyaluronic acid with molecules that are too large and sit on the skin and actually draw moisture out from the skin you need one that can get into all three layers of the skin and draw moisture to all three layers but yeah guys that's basically it I don't hate coconut oil I think that it's great in your food it's great in coffee it's good for your hair it's good for dry skin on your elbows and your knees it's great for doing oil pools in your mouth but to use on your facial skin, no. It's an absolute no from me. I've tried it myself. I've experienced the negative effects that it's given me. Unless the look you're going for is cystic acne, flare-ups, red and broken skin, and skin that just looks dull and lifeless, by all means, go and slather that coconut oil on. 
But if like me, you're looking for oils that are actually gonna work on your skin, look for something else that is gonna be absorbed, that's not gonna block your pores, and it's actually gonna provide your skin with some sort of nutrition. So guys, that's about it for this video. If you've got any questions about this topic, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. If you found it useful, please make sure you give me a like. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you get updated every time I upload a new video. And that's about it. So until next time, guys, see ya.